Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. Um, today I'm going to talk about Cerberus Anti Theft. Um, it's a cracking bit of kit. I've had it on um, all my Android devices um, for almost two years now, and just the other week there, um, Cerberus came into effect when I dropped my phone and somebody made off with it. I only realised when I was on the, when I was using the phone through the Bluetooth headset when the headset um, went out of range and um, obviously I realised at that point that I had dropped the phone. Um, within 35-40 minutes I had the phone tracked and back in my possession and um, the whole time I was controlling the phone remotely with my um, S1 and even took pictures of the guy who pinched the phone. So when I got to the location where the phone was um, sitting with the guy, um, the police went and apprehended him and instantly I got the phone back. So I can't thank Cerberus enough for that. Um, it's about two or three dollars to buy and I promise you it's the best um, two or three dollars that you'll ever spend. So anyway, enough of that and more on this. Um, this um, app works better on devices that are rooted and the reason I say that is if your device is rooted you can build Cerberus into the app, into the um, operating system of the phone. So that way if, it, um, if the phone does get reset or factory data reset by the person that's took your phone, um, Cerberus won't be lost. Um, whereas if it's downloaded from Google Play as an APK file then um, there is a good chance that if the phone is reset by the person that's took it you will definitely lose Cerberus on the phone so you will no longer be able to track it. Now this is one of the major advantages of running a device that is rooted. If you want to know how to root your device um, see my other videos um, Flashing the or rooting the Galaxy 1, 2 or 3 is exactly the same process, it's just different files and I also cover um, rooting the Galaxy tablet um, in one of my videos. So anyway, my phone's rooted so we're going to download and install Cerberus um, for a rooted device. The file I'm going to be downloading is a hidden file. So the first thing you want to do is go to CerberusApp.com and click on download Cerberus. Once downloaded um, you'll be given these options here. Move in a little. I'm going to take the hidden option, the hidden version, which will just appear as a little green Android man and it will say system framework. Um, I'm running Android 4 so I'm going to download this zip file here. Um, you can download the APK version but you may as well just go into Google Play and downloading it from the Play Store. So we'll shut that down just now. Once the file has um, downloaded what you want to do is find the file where it's downloaded it to. I've downloaded that twice, but not to worry. And take it out of there and put it on the internal SD card of your um, phone. So if you find your phone, my phone's already connected. So I'm just, I'll just stick it in here and I'll stick it in a download folder so that it's easy to find. As you can see it's in there now. Now you can either flash it through Clockwork Recovery or you can flash it through via um, the recovery mode. So we'll just quickly flash it through um, via Clockwork Recovery. Sorry, I'm out of shot there. So I'm going to install ROM from SD card, go to my download folder and choose Cerberus. 
reboot and install. So as you can see there, the file has now been flashed through with Clockwork Recovery. So once the phone starts back up again, um, Cerberus will now be on the, on the phone. So we'll just pause here while Android is upgrading. Right, while we're waiting on Android to upgrade there, I'll quickly um, run through some of the features that you can do with Cerberus. Um, it's like a triple protection on your phone. You can um, control the phone remotely through the website. Um, you can control it um, via text messages. And also if somebody puts in um, their SIM card, if they take your SIM card out and fling it away and put their SIM card in it, um, Cerberus will automatically text message you or email you um, the number of the SIM card and roughly where it is, the location. Now, um, I mentioned that we can control the phone remotely. With the remote, um, we can track it. Um, you can find out the, the Wi-Fi network it's on, if it's um, connected to a network. Um, you can get a call list from it, um, send, send calls, receive calls. Same with the text messages, you can get a sent and received list. Um, you can bring that up remotely on the computer or another device that connects to the internet. You can lock it with a with a um, code. So that was exactly what I done when I realised that the phone was missing. I instantly locked it to stop the person making phone calls with it. Um, you can hide the phone, you can hide the the application from the from the from the app drawer. Um, what else can you do with it? You can display messages on the screen um, and you can sound alarms. I mean there's so much more that you can do with it. Um, you can even wipe the phone's memory. You know. However, if, um, if it's not rooted and you wipe the memory, well, kiss tata to your phone. So that's not really a good option if your phone's not rooted. If your phone is rooted, then... Um, Wiping the memory won't really do it much harm. However, it will deactivate the pin lock. That was one feature that I noticed. So I would only wipe the memory um, in extreme cases. And if your external um, SD card isn't encrypted, then I would be probably more inclined to um, delete the external SD card, which you can do remotely. So enough um, nattering about that, if we now go into um, the phone here we should see an app called System Framework which is um, now Cerberus. I'm already um, registered with Cerberus so I can um, input my details. So I'll just take this off camera just now and put my password in. No point telling you guys my password, is it? Right. That's me. That's me um put all the details in it. Right. Once you um get into the app itself like this, this is what you'll be greeted with. Where it says device administration, it says status disabled. You must enable this. This way you can control the phone remotely. Because it's rooted, it's asking for super user requests. So we'll just click activate. Now we'll be able to um, control the phone remotely. Make sure that there's ticks in all these boxes. Um, these ticks um, allow you to control the phone remotely, allow you to delete the SD card 
I wouldn't worry too much about screen colour. I just leave that as um, transparent, which is a default. Wrong unlock code. Make sure there's a tick in that box. Failed attempts. It should be one by default, which it is. So basically, if you've got the lock on it and they try and access the phone and they put the wrong PIN number in, it will instantly take their picture. Um, a tick in the box for when they stop the alarm and they dismiss the messages if you display any messages on it. SIM configuration, you'll notice there there's, there's a couple of numbers already in there and these are numbers that, um, that I have associated with this device. Really that's about it. Um, if you have any problems communicating the, the phone to the, the computer remotely, just touch this button here, register for C2DM. And more or less that's it. So if we pause here, we'll go on to the website and we'll have a quick look at some of the features. Okay, now we're in here in the interface and we can now control the phone remotely. Now, once you log in you can see the map here and it'll tell you roughly where the phone is. It's actually very accurate. Um, so, once you're in here, what I forgot to mention earlier is you can um, register five devices to the one app. So for two or three dollars, you can protect five devices. So if we click on my device there, um, it's connected and it tells you in the box here that it's connected also. I don't know if you can see the phone there. Let's try and get the phone up a little bit higher. That's better. Right. Now, um, we can lock the phone with a code. So if the phone's been pinched, we'll put a 1, 2, 3, 4 command in here and we'll send the command to the phone. It says up here that the locks, lock um, thing's been um, executed and if you notice there quickly that it flashed blue. So if we try and go into the phone now, you'll see that it's got the code. So we can unlock it remotely again, send the command, so the next time we go to unlock that, as you can see there, we can unlock it freely without the code. One of the other features on it is we can um, send an alarm with a message, so we can say, um, give me my phone back. And this is loud when it comes up. So if the phone's turned off, or what we'll do is we'll make sure that it goes on mute, we'll mute it. That's on mute, as you can see that. We can now send the command. So the person's got your phone, they put it on mute. So we'll send the command, give me my phone back. As soon as I touch it, it's took their photograph. We can put the sound back on. Um, up here, if we go in a little further, is all the commands that we can give it. We can start tracking, stop tracking, we can get the device info, we can get the location history off the phone, we can lock it, we've already discussed that, and unlock it, send an alarm, we can also display a message on the screen of the phone, we can pull up the call log um, from the phone, and the SMS log as well. Um, if you pull up the 
SMS log. It just basically displays the um, the text messages that you've been sending and receiving. There you are there. Um, we can also um, call the phone, so we can put a phone number in, and that phone there, the S3, will call another phone. Um, and you can also activate the loudspeaker. You could send text messages remotely. So if your phone is missing, you can tell the your friends that your phone is missing, so not to text it. You can also record audio. You can take pictures with the front or back facing camera. So you can set it randomly. Um, you can also capture video and take a screenshot so you can see what the person is looking at. But by this point, you will have the phone locked down with a PIN code. Um, you can start emergency mode. And basically, what emergency mode does is it sends signals and text messages. Um, you can set it like once every frequency every hour um, to another device or email address. And it will continue sending out a signal. Um, you can stop the emergency mode, you can hide the app, you can show it in the drawer, you can delete the, the memory of the device, but remember if it's just a standard phone that you've got, it's not rooted, I wouldn't really advise doing this, um, unless there is something that you really need to hide on it. But just remember, deleting the device memory will not delete the um, photos that are on it, or the music, or any other files that you've got in it. Um, to do that you would really need to have your photos or files on the external SD card and then delete that or use a cloud like Dropbox and have all your photographs up there so that there's nothing on the phone and finally you can reboot the device and you can do all that remotely so guys um, thanks for watching and um, I hope that your phone will never ever get stolen or anything and um, you never need to use Cerberus but this is how you install it and get it running and if you are going to install Cerberus on your device again I would seriously consider rooting it <coughs> just to finish off with um, I forgot that I had actually pre-recorded um, the next set of clips which is showing you how the tracking system works a while back I was testing it out with all intent of uh, making a video that's how long it's actually taken to get it to this stage and um, I tracked my wife using her as a guinea pig the video is um, sped up um, but it's showing you how you would actually track your phone um, using your desktop computer um, the signal that comes back is slightly delayed that's why I've sped the video up however the next clip is um, what the view would look like on your Android device and um, the one in question we're using here is a Galaxy S3 so I just tested it to see how it looked on that as well hopefully um, you'll never ever need to use Cerberus however if you do you know that you have peace of mind knowing that you can hopefully track your phone anyway thanks for watching see you later guys bye